of and you are forgiven. Listen to what God is saying to your heart and not the inner critic. Amen?
He may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. He may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. He may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. 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 If you ever find yourself in a place where you need to battle, you need to praise a little bit more. Can somebody say amen? If you're in the midst of a battle and you can't feel like you're having a victory, you need to praise a little bit more. Because praise is the one that de defeats the enemy. The praise brings the anointing. And when the enemy tries to get you, you're all oily from the anointing. And so the enemy can't get you anymore. something with me the other day, uh, probably about a week and a half ago, and it was about this man named Phil Driscoll, and he's been playing the instrument, the trumpet, for years and years and years, and he explained something about praise. He says, I don't play the trumpet, I am the trumpet. You are not singing the song, you are the song. Mark isn't playing the drum, he is the drum. You see, the gift is lying inside, and this instrument, this piece of wood, just allows us to bring out what we really are. Hallelujah. So when this man, Apostle Harry, steps up to the microphone, he isn't on the microphone, he is the microphone, okay? And God's Word is in him. God's Word is living in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that a fire? Good to have you back.
I'd rather be In your love, in your love No place I'd rather be No place I'd rather be No place I'd rather be Here in your love, sincere Set a fire down in my soul That I can't contain, that I can't control I want more of you, God Good to see you too. I sent you a prayer request. Did you get it? Nope. I sent you again. Okay. Oh.
Lord, we're just coming before you because I was just prompted that maybe we can kneel down, that we come, come before the Lord God, our, our maker. We thank you, Lord, for just giving us such a beautiful day. And we thank you that the church moves forward on its knees. So today, Lord, we are just asking you. We are asking you that you would show up and show off through your mighty word. That you would change hearts and lives and minds. Thank you, Lord. We have years of testimonies of people overcoming of the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. So we just thank you today. We just humble ourselves. The height of our revival will be depend on the depth of our repentance. The height of our revival will depend on the depth of our repentance. So today, let this be day one for us to repent before a living and holy, worthy God. We thank you, Jesus. And thank you, everyone, for coming down and kneeling down for a moment. Amen. In Jesus' name. <sighs> You know, the thing is, just because I'm on the microphone doesn't mean I'm the guy that has to be leading because the Holy Spirit is leading. So if somebody's feeling like there's a prompting in their hearts, man, just come over and talk to us. No, 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 I'm good. Or speak to us because we want to be Look doing what God is prompting us to be doing. Amen? Oh, they're playing, playing. They got me nervous. They're just playing. 
<laughs> Y'all scared me now. Today. Hey, Earl, you came back. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. I'm loading Outreach, I'm to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ, seek and save the lost. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, make me a 
house of prayer, a house of prayer. Lord, make me a house, make me a house of prayer, a house of prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for providing this food for people in need, and clothing. The anointing of God is here, the Holy Spirit. Whatever you need, just ask Him, and God's going to grant it. Trust me, He's going to deliver you in Jesus' name. Praise God, everybody. Praise God. Uh, my name is Brother Earl, and I want to sing a song. Um, one of my favorite songs. I think it's my favorite. Don't make me cry. Sing. Just to magnify and glorify God. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turn. Thou changest not, thy compassion is still not old. As I have been, thou forever will be. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Yes, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I had needed, thy hand had provided all. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sins and the peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today, right. bright hope for tomorrow. Blessed I'm thine with ten thousand signs. Oh, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercy I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Brother Earl, the, the man that wrote this, I like studying hymns. This man that wrote this, he became a minister, but he also got sick after he was at a particular church and he couldn't serve the Lord in that capacity anymore. So he became an insurance salesman and he retired over to New Jersey and he wrote 1,200 hymns, 1,200 hymns and 800 of these were published. So it's very interesting. You may have a hidden gift within you, just like Brother Earl did. It is time to unleash the hidden gifts that you have inside to serve the body of Christ. Now, we're just going to pray for Apostle Harry as he comes to...